Hey guys, it's Di and today I'm going to do a different type of review for you guys today. Today I'm going to do a review of our dress up dresses and I have been asked a lot in the past specifically whether the Disney store and Disney theme park dresses were worth the additional price or if they were better in any way than the dresses that we've gotten at places like Target and Walmart and that sort of thing. So obviously there's a considerable price difference between the two. And so what I thought I'd talk about today is the differences between them, what I thought about them, and my opinions for the future. So first of all, I'll just give you a rundown of what's sitting in front of me and tell you the difference of the dresses. So all of these dresses over here are from Disney theme parks. So these are from Walt Disney World. These are dresses that we've gotten as gifts from my dad who lives down in Orlando. We have the Ariel one is actually still available in the theme parks currently. We have two Tinkerbell dresses which have just been refreshed a little bit but it's basically still the same thing that's in the parks. We have Rapunzel sitting here. I have a couple down in the basement. I think we have Snow White and Minnie Mouse in the basement. Um, but Rapunzel, this is also still the one that's currently available in the Disney theme parks. Now, this one's a totally different one. I'm gonna talk about this kind of separately. This is a Disney brand um, dress. I got this at Toys R Us, and this was actually in the costumes in the Disney baby section at Toys R Us one Halloween when Isabella was about two. We now use that as a dress up costume. All of these dresses over here are from Target, basically. And so I'm gonna talk about these kind of as a group. You can see, obviously, there's the Anna dress that we just got, and we also have the Target version Elsa dress on the way to us as well. So I'm gonna talk about the different kind of pitfalls on these sorts of dresses. You can already see the sleeve on the Sleeping Beauty. Um, and just kind of the cost versus benefit ratio of the different dresses. So first of all, the ones from Disney Store is Disney Theme Parks. They are definitely made of thicker materials. They do seem like, especially this Rapunzel one, has a lot more intricate detail. You can see all the detail work here at the top. Um, all of these ribbons have held in place. There's an overlay of mesh here that hasn't torn or anything. And if you guys have watched our videos, you know these dresses get used on a daily basis. It, the Anna dress has not been used yet because that's a gift, obviously. You can see the tags are still on it. All the rest of these dresses, basically daily use at our house. So we are really great. Um, <laughs> We have really great test subjects for dress up dresses. So the Disney, the Disney theme park dresses, they've held up very, very well. They have a lot more detail to them. So like with this aerial dress, you can see it's got layers of tulle underneath here. There's a lot of different multiple layers um, and there is just a little bit more detail. They're very shimmery and they feel a bit thicker and a bit heavier. So these are all in the probably $55 to $65 retail range at Walt Disney World if you were to buy them on the shelves today. Um, something that these also have is a little emblem on all of them. There's a little Tinkerbell here on the Tinkerbell ones. There is this Ariel one here on Ariel ones and also the Rapunzel one on the Rapunzel ones. So it's got the different characters on them. This dress I will say is probably my favorite out of all of them. I thought it was the best quality. It was about the best price. These are about $35 and only available during Halloween time at Toys R Us. They are made by Disney. They are Halloween costumes, but I thought the detail on these was wonderful. The pitfall of these is that they are only in baby sizes. So my girls have basically outgrown these at this point. This dress is, I believe, a 2T size. My girls are both thin enough. Yeah, this is 2T. Bella actually still fits in this because it's, you know, a little bit wider. So Bella still fits in this. It's like a high water dress on her because there's like that much length between her and the floor. So it doesn't touch the floor. But Natalie, it fits perfectly as far as the length right now. And we have gotten tons of use out of this. We've had this dress for two years. And you can see it's still in magnificent shape. So I would say if you are looking for some wonderful dress up dresses, check out Toys R Us around Halloween in the Disney baby section. The sizes range from I believe three month to about four or five T. And the four or five T ones you have to grab quickly because each store generally gets about one and then once it's gone, it is gone. So I'm gonna try to get some more this year for our dress up station, but I really enjoyed this dress. I thought it was great, great quality. Uh, Natalie ha used to have a Cinderella dress. If you notice, it's not in the pile. She has outgrown that, and also that did tear at the bottom uh, just because she was wearing it and it was way too long on her, and that's why it ended up tearing the front layer. Um, so we did get rid of that one. I mean, she outgrew the, you know, the top bodice of it because it was a baby size. Um, but just overall, great quality for the price. 
So these are the $55 to $65 range. Definitely worth making the investment if you have kids like mine that love dress up and are going to dress up daily. I mean, you know, my kids are in these dresses daily. So when we go to Walt Disney World this next time, I will be buying more dresses and they are a great investment for us. These are a great thing, but they're very hard to find. And the brand on these is Disney Baby. So you may check eBay or that sort of thing if you have a child in baby sizes. Now, on down to the Target version dresses. These dresses, and this is the same version that's available at Toys R Us and Walmart, so I believe it's all about the same, you know, style dress, all the same materials that are going into making them. The prices on these are around $19.99. Uh, Toys R Us, I think they were asking $29.99 on this, and I took that one back and actually got the one at Target when they got into stock at Target because they were $10 cheaper. Exact same dress, same materials and everything. So. You, you get what you pay for. So if your kids are not that into dress up, or like in my case, the only place I could find the Elsa and Anna dresses were at Target. Disney Store has been sold out, and we looked at Walt Disney World and they were sold out. And so I literally bought the Target version dresses because that's all I could find. So when you're in that kind of situation, you kind of just have to get what you can get. But the material on these is definitely lighter. It doesn't have the weight that the Disney Store, the Disney theme park ones have. And, you know, without trying to make this too negative, they are a bit more cheaply constructed. So you can see like this top, this mesh is very thin. I 100% expect the mesh on these sleeves to, to tear in some aspect, probably within a week or two of use because we use our dresses daily around here. Um, you can see that this is just thinly sold, uh, sewed onto the back here. Um, and you know, it's got the little sleeping beauty figure that has this part has lasted fine. It's starting to become very loose and there's different little rips in the mesh and that sort of thing. But again, these dresses get used daily at our house. So for the price, I would say if you have a child that's interested in dress up and maybe you don't know how often they're going to be using their dress up dresses or maybe you just have a child that uses their dress up dresses occasionally, I think that these dresses are very good value for the price. I mean for only paying $20 per dress and you could maybe have a couple dresses in your dress up repertoire and that's all you need, they're very good value. And I wanted to do this review because I read a number of the reviews online saying oh these sleeves are so scratchy and you know like they're this dress got a lot of negative reviews online. It's a $20 dress up dress. It is what it is. I fully expect these sleeves to rip. 100% I expect them to rip just like this one, but my kids still use this. Um, this is a little bit stiffer. People were kind of complaining about how scratchy this is. I don't particularly find it any scratchier than any other dress and my kids don't seem to have an issue with this and they do 100% softened up as you use them. So you can see that this Sleeping Beauty dress that has the exact same type of sleeves, it's a lot softer. So as they use this probably a week or two into it, these sleeves will be very soft and pliable. Um, I'm fully expecting to get our full $20 of use out of this dress. Um, I definitely think it'll get used a bunch whenever the girls receive it as a gift. And I definitely think that it's worth the $20. So it really comes down to a personal decision as far as what dress is gonna be right for you. If you think that um, you know these dresses are in your price range and your kids are going to be using them a ton, like my kids are in them daily, then I think you should definitely look at investing in the Disney theme park dresses. They are more intricate. They are a little bit better quality. You know, and again, if it's more occasional use or it's literally the only place you can find it, then the Target dresses are the way to go. So we have the Sleeping Beauty dress down here. I have the Sophia set. Um, and this is held up great. Both girls use this and also Doc McStuffins, which I believe came from Toys R Us. So we've gotten a lot of use out of all these dresses and they've held up really great for the price for us. So I have no qualms with these whatsoever. I think that if these were $55 and they wore like the $20 ones, then I'd have a little bit more issue, but these are a little bit heavier of course as well. And the only thing that we've had an issue with is the Izzy that you guys uh, may have seen from Isabella got for Christmas. We have had to talk that one and that was actually a Halloween costume not a dress-up dress so that would be my only suggestion is that if your kids are into dress-up dresses buy an actual dedicated dress-up dress because they're meant to be pulled on and off a lot um, they, I don't know whether they have reinforced seams or whatnot but the Izzy uh, Halloween costume disintegrated probably within a few months of use so that's really the only thing that we've had kind of totally disintegrate but all in all these are our dress-up dresses and I like having a variety I mean you'll notice that we have 
you know, everything from the Disney theme park dresses to the Target ones. And the kids don't really seem to have any preference between them. Um, they just, you know, look at the character. They decide what character they want to be. And that's that. So um, hopefully this has been helpful. If you guys are trying to decide what sort of dress-up dresses to get for your dress-up enthusiast. And let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. And Amir, less than an hour after I made that last video, the girls are up and playing in their dresses. Here you can see the two T still fits on, Bella. Just a little bit short. You wearing your Queen Elsa dress? So obviously our dresses get a lot of use around here.